Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Time to Talk, where we talk watches and all the things that it relates to, which possibly could be everything in the world. My name is Jeng oh, Fong. yes. <laughs> my name is Jeng Fong, the Rizbone, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Respectable Max. What's up? Thank you for having me. Dude, I'm so excited to talk about... Hey, dude. Uh, watch Michael Byrne. Dude. Yeah. I didn't ask you, right? My, my girlfriend was asking me why my Instagram handle is uh, the wrist bone. Oh, I think I know why. why can, I, can I make a quick guess? Okay, yeah. I think it's because you have this super bony ass wrist. I do have like, bony ass wrist. This, this, big this ass wrist protruding. Bone. Is that, is that? Yeah, this protruding. What's that called? I don't know what it's called. I know, the, <laughs> I know it's ulna in radius, but yeah, that, that protruding... The ball, right? Ball, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, and it's, that's why. It's present in the I, 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 know, I know how, I know why you chose that name, but I think you should explain that to your girlfriend. No, I also chose it. That That, that is true, and it's it's, it's, a, it's a watch. Uh, it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's a watch Instagram account. So my, wa- my wrist is always present. There's that. Mm-hmm. But do you think the wrist bone rhymes with my name, Jengfo? No. No? It's not a chance. Does. No. No. Wrist bone, Jengfo. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Unless, unless wrist bone. It's, it's the E-O, you know, it's the E-O sound. Like, like it's not, it doesn't rhyme like a poem, but it rhymes like, you know, a rap song, like an M.M. song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, song right I mean, if you really, yeah. I mean, if you're really looking for it, then I guess I'm gonna be. It rolls off the tongue, you know. Jing Fong the wrist Not bone. to me. Oh shit! <laughs> say it a few times, man. Say, say, Jing say Fong it with the me. wrist bone. Yeah, exactly. Jing Fong the wrist bone. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't it doesn't ring, man. Damn. Right, like, like Jing's jungle. Uh, that's the ring. Jing's jungle. The wrist bone, though. Jing Fong the wrist yeah. bone. No, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Jing Jungle, yeah. Jing Jungle is a ring, but Jing Pong, the wrist bone? No. <laughs> Hell no, man. Shit. I'm gonna have to come up with another name. I, I know I know you love to have it rhyme, but you know. Doesn't work. No. Jing's Jungle? Genius. You like it? Jing Jungle? Yeah, I love it. I, I actually came up oh. with a, uh, an idea for a logo earlier. I was working on it oh, uh, before the for wristbone. Uh, no, James Jungle. <laughs> I don't oh, think okay. wristbone's gonna get a logo, man. It's just my Insta handle. Let me bring it up for you here. And let you see. If you can see it. Artwork, James Jungle logo one. Right, let me present another screen for you. So initially, my, my current logo is just Jinx Jungle the word, right? And handwritten kind of typography. But uh, now I am trying out this. Can you see my screen? No, I, don't, I can't see the screen. Oh, wait, oh, shit. Can you see this? Oh. <laughs> okay, tell me the significance about this logo. For those who can't see, it's actually a logo with the top of Jing yeah. Kong's head. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically a head, my head, right? And it looks so memeable, man. In, <laughs> it looks really memeable. Inside it is just, I don't know, I'm, I'm envisioning just trees, branches, vines, or whatever. Just nature shit. Jungle shit. Why in your head, though? Yeah, because, you know, it's, it's a metaphor for the brain, for the mind. It's a jungle. It, it looks like your head is entangled. Entangled? Yeah. It very well could be, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Yeah. Alright, man. And I, 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 was, I, want, I want to incorporate Jinx Jungle, the wording, into this the green stuff here in the middle, in the brain. What, a JJ or like an actual James from me? Actual James from me, the whole word. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to see how it turns out. Yeah. I like the idea. What, what do you think about it? What, mm. 
Maybe you should. I don't know. Ah, too messy. Too messy. Ah, okay, that's good. No, not the 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 one before. Back, back, back. Yes, this is okay. No, not the the one before. Oh, this is nice. <clears throat> I like this. I like it. That is nice too. This is like a trippy. Ah, this is nice. Yeah. It's clean. Yeah. Like a trippy, you know, the the nineteen seventies hippie movement <laughs> type of vibe. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it's it was nice, like, man. Yeah. So what is this? Uh, so tell tell the audience like what is the uh, the purpose of Change Jungle and and what does the, uh, the podcast series entail? Podcast series entail. What does it entail? What is it about? What are you going to do in that in Change Jungle? Tell us about that. I want to. No, it's a podcast. Uh, I want to try just for now. I think I'm just going to try doing episodes on, on everything just talk about everything I can uh-huh. just just uh-huh. to get myself used to talking get get the words flowing understand uh-huh. how how everything works you know and just getting the workflow going on you know uh, so I want I've been thinking of doing a series on Chinese songs oh okay good. Um, I almost right. heard like what Chinese watches Chinese songs, okay. Uh, because I listen to Chinese songs, right? Okay. I, I like a lot of Chinese songs, but I don't understand most of them, man. I will sing along to it, but I don't understand what the fuck they're singing. I don't understand what the, what the meaning of the song is. So I was thinking of doing, just translating the songs, because I have been doing that. Uh, I have been quite curious really? about, yeah. What are, what are you listening to? Uh, old, old Cantonese me, songs. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, let me let me get Sam Hui. Not Sam Hui, Alan Tam. <laughs> Kenny Jackie B. Jackie Cheong. Yeah, 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 Jackie Cheong. People like that, you know. Teresa Tang, you know. Oh, Teresa Tang. Oh, you gotta love Teresa Tang, man. Yeah, Fei Wong. You got to love Teresa Tang. Dude, Teresa Tang's the, it's like, the perfect woman, man. <laughs> like the yeah, voice, the voice. I don't know. It's, it's just... So when so you listen to her voice, thing. you you can feel that everything is okay. It's it's the womanliest voice, man. The perfect woman. You should listen. You should listen to Anita Moy too. Anita Moy. Uh, the the rocker girl of the eighties. Oh shit, my. Is that gonna be in the recording? Fuck. We have some we are experiencing some technical uh, difficulties. I uh, know the cable the okay, so I haven't really sorted out the cable management for this area. Because the podcast is supposed to happen in that area, right? Around the mm-hmm. that table. Right. But now that I moved it here in, in front of my laptop, the uh, my wires are not Oh my the video just went off. Oh, it's back. Okay. Yeah, my, my wires, some of the cables are too short and stuff like that, so it's all over the place. And yeah. uh, my headphones isn't connected super well, like it's it's a bit too wonky over there. So uh, if I move a bit too much, the connection might get interrupted and uh, causes the buzz. So yeah, what's up? Let me, I'm gonna start. Presenting. So today we're talking about uh, micro brands, mm-hmm. and I'm wearing my micro brand watch, uh, my Helsin Shark Diver in titanium, third size thirty eight. We've been talking about this watch for the past two episodes, man. <laughs> yeah, <All right. clears throat> and I'm wearing a. <clears throat> Mr. Jones watches The Promise nice. of Happiness Very nice Promise of Happiness or the Tiger one Yeah Made in London Beautifully Pad printed Beautifully designed 38mm Stainless steel case With a Tan Hirsch leather strap Did you buy this one Or did they give it to you? Uh, they give it to me I, I, I got it from 
from the joke. So I wrote an, uh, I wrote an article, a review of the watch for them. And they decided Sorry. that we should just have to just keep it. Sorry, what did you say? Am I, <laughs> my audio Sorry, kind of I, up there. It, 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 it's given. It's given by uh, Mr. Jones Watches himself. Right. Because I, I wrote a, a review of the watch for them. Sorry, guys, we're back. Uh, experiencing some problems with my headphones, but I think we should be all right for now. <laughs> all right, do you see yeah, my screen? Yep. So I was thinking today we can just look through this uh, group on Facebook. It's for microbands. Mm -hmm. And discover maybe discover some watches for ourselves. <clears throat> oh, Facebook's new layout is a bit weird. Yeah. Do you even use Facebook now? Fair, uh, yeah, I do when I'm bored, but I don't spend much time on it. I mostly spend a lot of time on Instagram. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. YouTube. All right, we're here, Microbrand. <clears throat> what do you think about Microbrand watches, man? Um, I think they are filling the gap that the luxury Swiss watches and established Japanese watches are not doing in that they are more experimental in their approach towards mm -hmm. watches. They are more value based instead of you know you know just seeking profit. And uh, I would say they are very purposeful in their designs as well. Right. <clears throat> also uh, micro brands fill in that gap for for margins. For people who can't really, for example, uh, can I start with the first, you know, this first micro brand that I've been, I've been, I've been keeping my eyes on? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, right. man. Yeah, so <clears throat> look this way, though. Brand? Look at your phone, though, when you're talking to me. <laughs> Sorry. Look, look at your phone, though, when you're talking to me. So. Oh. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, you're looking at it that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, there is this uh, micro brand called Pelton, Pelton Watches, um, P-E-L-T-O-N, Pelton Watches. Pelton now, watches. Pelton yeah. Watches is uh, what I think is a very interesting micro watch brand. Um, they're a little bit on the higher end, the higher, the higher end, I mean, they're, they're a little bit more on the expensive side, hmm. but they are basically... Um, a homage towards the Audima PA Royal Oak. Yeah, I'm looking at it. See a little, yeah, it's, a, it's very Gerald Genta yeah. design. Type. I mean, it's, it comes to no surprise. It looks like a Royal Oak. Yeah. It's like when the Royal Oak and a Hublot had a baby, you get Pelton. I would say it looks more like a Royal Oak with the Nautilus bracelet style. Right? style? Uh, yes, right. and also no, because. Uh, it's chamfered. You can see yeah, the angle. It, yeah, it's it's like it's like the Royal Oak, but the it's it, very it healthy. With the H, yeah, which is you know, which is what the Nautilus is, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it's it's like healthy. You notice the H link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like so, that. They, I, like um, that, I do like that. Helsing uses the H link. It's it's very smart. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Helsing, uh, especially the uh, the model Perseus, it's a thirty nine millimeter. Very very beautiful sizing, and I think it's the perfect sizing for any any hand. I think it sits well on the wrist as well. Uh -huh. uh, Nine point six millimeter thick, and the movement is an ETA twenty eight twenty four two, <clears throat> which is a very very you know it's just a Swiss workforce movement right. with an open case back. So uh, it's made in it's made in USA. It's made in America, and um, I. If you can see, there's, there's uh, uh, the perlage decoration right. on the movement. So I think they did some, some, you know, some, dec some little bit, you know, a little bit on the. Uh, but they did, they did some, some minor, minor um, um, decorating, decorating yeah. on the on the movement itself. <clears throat> but I, <clears throat> although it's interesting, I wouldn't. Really recommend for the three thousand US dollar price tag. It's I mean, three thousand US dollars. Yeah, it's two ninety nine. What, what, what movers is this? It's, it's a, an ETA. 
คนนี้จริงอย่าโซ่เอ่อ A little bit on the expensive side, but I think it's very interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, I can I can see that it's quite well made as well. So yeah, it looks nice. The the polishing looks nice. It looks nice. It looks nice. But with that price, I think you should just spend it on the relax. I don't know. Looking at it, it looks to me, at least, it looks like a. Uh, it looks like a. Royal Revolver. And it looks like a, a discount Royal. It does look like that. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like the the uh, the. How do you how do you say that the proportions are a bit feel a bit off? Like the bezel feels very thick. Mm. Yeah, I guess. So I think you must really really love the Royal Oak to actually buy to actually spend money on a watch like this. Yeah. I like the like case. Really, really like, want yeah, the, yeah. the royal. Yeah. <coughs> you do get the royal feel. Right? Yeah. I, I, I do like the the look of the bracelet and the, the case. Yeah. yeah. The way I think it's why like, and the royal is so sought after, and even homages to it. For example, the uh, the Bulova Royal Oak. Yeah. Now that's a rare piece. Yes, it's a fraction of the price. I don't think it's it is expensive as the Perseus. So it's. I think it. It caters to the fans, the the really diehard fans of the Royal Oak. So, Perseus, Elton Perseus, very very interesting. This hand finish, which is very very interesting. You don't you don't get that. Oh, it's hand finish. Yeah, it's hand finish. They advertise that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They uh, did. Hand finish, yeah. lapping, polishing, brushing. Yeah. So I think it's very interesting. If um, if you really like Royal Oak. For a fraction of the price, I would say go for it, but um, it's out of stock. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So you know, oh, they also have really a JLC uh, homage here, right? Sector. What the sector now? Oh yes, yes. Which which yeah. model is this again? Uh, the again Master name. Control Master Alt Master Control Ultra Thin. Master Control Ultra Thin. Yeah. The JLC is master control. <clears throat> yeah, so it's um, pretty good for margin. Uh, yeah. I think it's too, to me at least, it's quite expensive. Yeah, I don't agree with the pricing, but <clears throat> for yeah. homage watch, you know what I'm saying? For homage watch, yeah, with an ETA movement, with that money you can actually get a vintage Rolex. So I wouldn't recommend it if you are getting into watches and you want to buy something like this. But I would recommend to hardcore fans of the Royal Oak. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or you could, oh, buy, a, or you could buy a bagel know. sport, you know? <laughs> Sorry? Or you could buy a bagel sport, you know? Yeah. You don't know what a bagel yeah. sport is? <laughs> yeah, the Chinese, the, the Chinese, you know, for much. Bagel sport, yeah. yeah. Seen, seen those around. I love the name. <laughs> <laughs> bagel sport. I think they just they just went to uh, the name generator a bagel. and just like your favorite it, food. It makes sense, your favorite man. Favorite food and favorite activity, bagel <laughs> sport. It makes sense, man, because because you got the whole porthole porthole design from the Nautilus. Yeah. Right, and it is basically a bagel, right? It's a donut shaped thing. I guess so. And it's a sports watch. It's the name. Man. You gotta love you gotta love the Chinese and their naming, man. All right, let's go to. The Facebook group. Oh wait, I do think micro brands. Yeah, I feel like they are. They are where it, it. <laughs> they are where, us as watch enthusiasts who mm -hmm. are looking for value. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I feel like micro brands is the perfect mm -hmm. medium to. Yeah. Hence, I, out, yeah, you know? yeah. Hence, they fill in that gap, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because I think they a lot of gap. these owners of micro brands, they are big fans of watches as well. You know, yeah, it's it's not just a corporation anymore. I feel like a lot of watch brands. Okay, I don't know much about this. I'm just spouting off the top of my head, right? But I feel like a lot of watch brands right now, because they've been they're such big companies and they've been established for so long. Yeah. you know, they are probably less 
the owners, the the head of the companies are probably less what, not as big as or, or watch fans as let's say someone who started a micro brand. You know. Yeah. To start a micro brand, I feel like you you've got there's gonna be some amount of passion there. Yeah. That is quite intense. Not easy, man. Yeah. It's not easy at all. Yeah. And because they especially, are so young. Especially in the saturated market, there's just so many micro brands. Yeah, man. Too many. Too many. And you're competing with they're competing with the Chinese. Who can provide even cheaper watches and almost you know good if not better looking for my tools. Yeah, but here's the thing. The the micro brands I think about when I think micro brands are not homage brands. Right. They, they are they they come up with their own designs. Those are the micro brands I like. Yeah, true, true, true. And uh yeah, yeah. For example, uh can I bring in another brand now? Yeah, go ahead. No, just yeah, you don't have to ask me since, when just bring in whatever. Since brand. since since we were talking about, you know, micro brands that that sort of bring in their own design yeah i think it's interesting to see this brand called wilk watchworks all right now wilk watchworks is started by a uh, a watchmaker a horologer called uh his name is called uh, scott wilk he's from canada and he actually i wouldn't say make but he designs his own watches based off you know he, he uses movements from EPA he uses movements uh, from from the Chinese seagull movement and he makes tourbillons he makes his own design I mean the most interesting design I think is uh, the the Daedalian Daedalian and the Lydian no pun intended you know <laughs> yeah so it's very very interesting of what he can actually come up with and I think his designs are very avant-garde, very unique. Like from afar, you see it, oh, you know, it's a, it's a Wilk watch works mm-hmm. watch. It's a watch from the, from him. Sorry. He's the one who, he's the only one who actually puts these watch, these watches together. He skeletonizes them and he puts his own flair into these watches. I think a lot I of the would, skeletonization is already done at the factory. It's already done, but he yeah, does his own decorating. He, he does, I think he mostly designs the case and the dial designs and hands. Yeah, yeah. Everything around. No, if you if you see if you see the engravings on the on the movement itself, that's actually from him. This one I don't he think so, it, man. But because I, I've seen this exact design in Chinese tourbillons. This exact design. That because I saw a video of him like actually doing the engraving in the book. Is it? Yeah, yeah. That See, sounds. That's his own, that sounds a bit I mean, suspect, man. <laughs> Not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> that sounds a bit suspect because I've seen this exact design uh-huh. uh, on the Chinese watches. Let me see if we can get a close up because if we can get a close up, then we can see if uh, the engraving is machine made or hand made. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but <clears throat> as far as I know, uh-huh. he does it by himself. And it's very interesting. Um, the way he actually designs, put his own style into it. Right, right. It's very, very. I mean, I think it's a uh, a watch worth looking at. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and he 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 assembles tourbillons as well. Yeah. If you look at the uh, the his tourbillon range. Yeah. Dude, it's it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty pretty cool for one point six Canadian dollar. Uh, cheaper than that that um the Pelton watches the homage to the world that's so nuts and right? for what you're that's so nuts right that's, yeah. that's crazy because this they, they, they essentially doing the same thing right they are mm-hmm. buying uh, movement from a maker and yeah. they put it into their own cases right <clears throat> yeah yeah this guy is selling tourbillons man yeah it's the same imagine price. that that's how old cheaper. price the out in this one. Cheaper. Cheaper, yeah. yeah. Cheaper, yeah. So, I think it's very interesting. I would actually want one of those. It's yeah. a tourbillon, man. It's a tourbillon. For that price. 
Don't be on Tony's fun, right? Yeah. But I mean, it's just a showpiece. It's basically a yeah, showpiece. Yeah, I, I'm hesitant about Tobion's buying Tobion's uh, because of the servicing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, if my local watch me too. If you buy a Tobion from Wilk, then you can actually send it to him for, to serve it. Yeah, but you see that that's quite a bit of a hassle, I feel, right? I'd I mean, much rather send it to has, a, has, a, has a with every Has with every Swiss bread. Ah, fair enough. But can't can you just bring it to uh, a, I don't know, an authorized dealer here or something? Or they have, they have shops here. And, right? You don't have to send yeah, it overseas. You can. Overseas, you can. I mean, watches are like art. You have to, if you have the money to buy, you they will expect you would have the money to service it. So, Fair enough, man. You know, yeah. So, yeah, real watch trucks, man. Uh, to anyone who, to everyone who's listening, check it out. Very very interesting brand. Very very interesting offerings from Wilk. Uh, beautifully designed watches. Um, there's this one that I think would would you would find interesting. There is a is it the mask? He the mask. A, the mask. The mask. No, uh, Wilk watch works. His oh, watches. Oh, his, the watches. Oh, his own. The mask. Uh, there's this very beautiful. I think I've seen it somewhere. Uh, he uses a copper dial. Oh, dude, that is gorgeous. A copper dial. Uh, where is it? Is it Martin? No, no, no. The mask. Classic. Can't find it now, but I've seen that he actually used a uh, a copper dial, which I think is really, really beautiful. I, 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 I have a soft spot for copper dial watches. Hmm. Why is that? I just love the color. The pink salmon yeah. looking color. Yeah, yeah. Super, super nice. Are you still looking for it? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for it, but it's okay. I mean, we can we can move on to to yeah. to, to another watch brand. But he, I think I saw it um, before, I think two years back. That he made. Um, these watches and there's one of them with a, a very beautiful um, copper dial yeah see this um, guy I sounds it, like a an enthusiast you know a watch enthusiast yeah yeah you know? yeah super super nice so yeah man that, so that's real watch work yeah I like the fact that I think you can also customize your own watch if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, see that we'll custom. Yeah, yeah. Personal, uh, personalization. Uh, um, he used to. He actually does uh corporate watches. Like you can put your your, your company's name on the watch. Ah, right, if you want to give cool, out watches, right. you know, for gifts or for recognition or anything like that, yeah. or a, a, a watch club. Yeah, you can actually. Yeah. You can. You can just contact Wilk. I think a, a lot of Chinese watches, Chinese brands do that as well. They allow personalization. But do you trust do you trust that they will do a good job? Then? But here's the thing. I trust I, I trust Wilk though. A lot of uh, those watches are uh-huh. homage watches. I feel like right. if you're going to give someone a watch, uh-huh. I don't know, a homage doesn't sound like a very nice gift. I beg to defer though. You think so? I beg to defer. Yeah. I mean, homages, if done right, I wouldn't mind. Hmm. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. But, you know, I I wouldn't be, <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed to homages, if it's done right. For me, I guess, uh, I still have this uh, perception, I don't know, uh, just the back of my head when I think mm-hmm. about when I look at homage watches and I, I feel that it's not the real thing. It gives me that feeling, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that, well, so where I was going is with this brand is nice because it's personalization mm-hmm. and it's his own design. Mm-hmm. You know? That's cool. Man. Oh, Okay, I found it. Uh, you go to shop, watch it, and you go to the numeric classic. 
numeric platter. Uh, third watch <coughs> on your on your on your right. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful, man. That's cool, man. Yeah, I don't think the pictures um, do justice. Have you seen it in person? Right. No, I have not. But it's oh, Copperdale. You know, <laughs> because I've, I've seen Copperdale watches before. Right. I've seen Copperdale watches before. Especially the... Uh, the was it the... Uh, um, what's, that? what's that watch? Uh? It's the independent watch. Uh, it starts with the L, I remember. But I've seen it before. And it's, uh, it's a brush finish, Copperdale. It's like straight up from the 12 o'clock, from the top 6 o'clock. It's just beautiful. The way it shines in the light. Hmm. You can't get it with any other... You can't get it as, 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 as nice as the, uh, it has other metal. You know what I've recently been a big fan of? What is it? Uh, steel dials. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, like silver. Like It feels like it, you're looking at the same... A material as the case itself uh-huh. so it looks like the whole thing is very metal like especially if it's if it's a special kind of dial like a skeleton dial or whatever but everything yeah. looks like it's, it's in steel mm-hmm. i've been a big fan of, uh, i've been those have been growing on me and i'm like i'm, I'm quite attracted to those watches now do you have those? an example I yeah i've seen those but, yeah. but what brand are you talking about uh, well, let's say the Breguet, for example. Let's say Breguet Tradition 7057, right? Uh, yes, something like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like this, the steel. Mm-hmm. Everything looks like it's in steel. Mm-hmm. Like this look. Right. It's growing on me, man. I, uh, it's, it's, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if it's the same kind of... Uh, Design sense as let's say a copper dial because it's metal mm-hmm. as well, right? Yeah, yeah it, it just looks very industrial. It looks very raw. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It's cool. Industrial, I think that's the word. Right? Yeah, yeah. Very straight on, straight on, exposed, you know, working. But the Brigade tradition, I think we talked about this watch in the. In the previous episode, right? Yeah, yeah. Episode one. Uh, no. Uh, no, 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 one. Last, the last episode. Is it? Then yeah, you're talking Chinese, about Chinese, Chinese watches? watches? Yeah, because, because I, I brought up uh, a fake from AliExpress. Oh, right, right. right yeah, right. it looks exactly yeah, yeah. the same. Yeah. yeah, but it's, uh, yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Very good. Any other uh, brands, micro brands you want to bring up? Mm. There's one about Uni, uh, Unimatic. Yeah. So I love Unimatic. Dude, same man. I love the design. Unimatic is is by far, I think, uh, an independent. I won't say independent. I mean a micro brand that's respected by high end watch collectors. It, it's French, right? It's French design, right? Italy. Italy, really, right, right. Yeah. It's super, super nice, especially the uh, the U1, U, the, the U3, U2. Their collaborations are also very nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think they recently did a collaboration with uh, Unpeated, um, the streetwear brand. Is it this one? Oh, yeah, this one, right? Ah, it's yeah. Very, it's very right. tastefully yes. done, you know? Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, design. It doesn't look nice. tacky. It doesn't look tacky. That's one thing good about it. It still looks nice, you know? And I think for the price, you're getting a pretty good deal. How much is that? Eh? Um, uh, for yeah, example, the, the uh, Modelo Uno is 625 euros, man. The Modelo Uno, right, right, right. 625 euros. Yeah, that's good. For 625 euros, you're getting all this and a respected watch brand in the high-end watch collecting community. Is it an ETA Even Um, No, it's a Seiko NH35. Alright. Oh, yeah, but still, 
Yeah, yeah, no sense. I mean, movement, movement is. I mean, it's not like key. the biggest, the best deal in the world, uh, but like, yeah. it's, it's very nice design for a reasonable price, you know? I haven't bought one myself, but if you I'm bought not mistaken, one? if you. No, I haven't, I've not. Right. I, I, I have not seen one in the flesh myself. Uh-huh. But if I'm not mistaken, if you buy it, you get a tough box. A what box? Oh, the plastic box. A tough box. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, uh, it's okay, it's box. <laughs> I mean, uh, you're a big fan of those I mean, uh, those no, if you, if you, if you, I mean, if you buy a watch, right? Uh, it's it's not all about the unboxing experience. It's all about the the, the right, full experience right, right, you get, right? right? When you buy a Rolex, it's always the box, the papers, you know. Right, when you buy an Omega, an Omega, if you buy, if I'm not mistaken, you buy one of the. Uh, the, the, the moon watch uh-huh. the, the, the speedmaster moon watch you get a huge ass box yeah a wooden nice wooden box a wooden nice wooden yeah. box when you open it yeah. it's just the watch but yeah. and with it's this all one, about you the know, experience with this one it gives you a very luxurious classic box <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's nice it's, nice. it's, it's much better than your paper boxes uh, I'd say yeah. yeah yeah definitely so yeah, it, it's cool. I think Unimatic is also an interesting brand to to, to, to look out for. Yeah. Very, very talked about, very, very popular. Very nice it's designs, beautiful. you know. Very yeah, sweet. very clean. It, it's very modern. Modern, minimalist. It's a refined, street. it's a refined, diverse watch. Yeah. That's what I would say. Very refined. It's like, no holes bar, just straight up watch. You know. And if you look at the U2F, the Modelo, oh my God. Modelo Due. Look at this one. This is... SpongeBob SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Cute, yeah. man. Yeah, man. SpongeBob's eyes on the watch. It's cute as fuck. Yeah. SpongeBob looks... SpongeBob Would looks you wear cool that? now. Would you wear I'm that? Not, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of SpongeBob, so uh, probably no. But if they did the same thing with, let's say, Rick and Morty or something, Oh, oh. Maybe hot. Whatever it's going, yeah. Maybe hot. Whatever it's going. Yeah. Unimatic is taking us back to Bikini Bottom for a series of adventures in the world. Oh, sick. <laughs> You're reading it. Yeah. And if you look at the uh, Modelo Duo, Modelo Due. In this one, right? That the grey ghost out. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's pretty sexy. Super nice. I think this is uh, and, following and the design edition. of... Uh, uh, I guess all of these are following the design of a Rolex, right? Of Rolex. Um, I think there's like an old Rolex, a bubble bag, is it? Yeah, I think, no, no, it's not the bubble bag, the, the old Explorer. Old Explorer, right. The old Rolex Explorer. Still, very nice, very refined. I wear it. Yeah, it's very nice. For four, and for 400 okay. euros, it, it's it's okay, it's not bad. You know, for, for what the brand stands for, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind giving, you know, paying 400 euros for it. Yeah. Dome crystal, sapphire crystal. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's, it is, and I, I just really like the fact that their designs melt really well with the fashion of today. The current fashion, yeah. the, the current yeah. trends, the current fashion trends. Exactly. This, this will yeah. work seamlessly with, let's say, uh, what you usually wear, like your <laughs> the street wear clothes. <laughs> you know, a big, yeah. a big oversized yeah. T-shirt or hoodie or some shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Especially, especially the one place. you see, uh, the collaboration with the Undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I guess that's that's I, why they they got to team up with them or right? they collaborated with uh, Street Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I I really love what they are, they are doing, and uh, I'll totally go for it. Unimatic. Yeah. Check it out for those who have a super, super nice, super, super clean, highly recommended. Let me see if I can look, I can find some of the uh, more limited edition uh, collaborations online. Oh yeah, see, we have the blue one here, you met Unimatic X. Oh, that's nice. That's cool, man. Ara Yashuhiro. Yashuhiro. I wonder if this weathering is done... Deliberately. Yeah. Mm. It, it, it looks... It looks, it looks really cool. 
Looks yeah. like, you know, an IKEA watch. <laughs> a what watch? An I- IKEA watch. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Slap an IKEA on there, man. Yeah, it's it's like it's like buying Fender guitars with the um, with the uh, the purpose the the purposeful wear. You know, have you seen those, right? The guitar. I'm I'm aware of Fender guitars. Uh, I don't know anything yeah. about them. Yeah, apparently, like people actually look for the beat up versions of the guitar. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah, it just looks cool. It's a big, big this thing, character like, shows like, the character. Thing. Mm, I guess so. Yeah, I really like this design. This character, no white guy. Oh, that's nice. Port very nice. Like Rolex port but I don't think they make it anymore. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Clean. They have a chocolate one. Mm. The green one. This green one reminds me of another macro brand watch. I'm done. Oh, yes. I'm done. You have you have an another watch, right? Oh no no! It was uh, with the block. All oh, right, right, right. We did a collaboration with them. Yeah. Undone, but yeah, Undone. Recently, they did this uh, Wii theme watch. Have you seen that? No. Let me see if I can look for it. Where is... Do they know the search? What do you mean, Wii theme? Uh... 420. It's, it's basically a Wii theme watch. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing here. Let me just look for it on so I'm done for too long. There we go. Oh, why is it in Japanese? You see this? Hmm. Oh, that's nice. I wouldn't wear it, but it's cool. <laughs> I kind of I, I like how they incorporated the four and four o'clock, and it's also twenty minutes, so four to oh. Very cute. I like the wee twelve o'clock. Four twenty. Oh. Wee. Oh yeah, I get it now. It's cute, right? Four twenty. Wow, that is clever. I think it's a very cute design. It's very it's 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 clever. It's cute. It looks nice. But, but it reminds me a lot. It's, it's like a homage of the um, the uh, SNZH, the Seiko SNZH. Um, and let me look it up. The hands, is it? The whole design, man. Oh, really? Yeah. The this SNZH is just like 50, a normal 55. base camp design right now. The SNZH 55. SNZH 55. This is a Seiko 5. Oh, right, right. See it? Yeah, yeah. It's almost exactly like All right. It. Yeah, it's the hands, the... Yeah, yeah. It's quite like it. Yeah. Beautiful watch by me. Yeah. It's cool, but... I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely I, I, I like... Definitely it. wouldn't buy it. We is cool and all, man, but... It's not... I don't add as a brand, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she's like, yeah, yeah. It's like wearing a, a t-shirt. I'll get it. With I'll get it. it I'll, get with, I'll get it with Dave, though. <laughs> I don't think he'll like it either. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit tacky. Yeah, man. It, but it's done. Yeah, it's a bit tacky. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's for those who really love watches and we. How, how do you find the, the, your Undone watch, the, the one you had experience with? No, it's all right. Solid, solid piece. Solid, solid piece. But I, I think I feel like it's a little bit too chunky. Yeah. Where is the one with the uh the the, the cartoon artist? All oh, right. Yeah. I don't know why it's not. Yeah. Here. Let, yeah. Let's talk about that. Let me look up their Instagram. Instagram. Dot com. I'm signing to the wrong account. Com slash what, what are you looking for? Undone watches. Undone watches Instagram. There we go. Yeah. 
they they also have this Bruce Wayne, this Batman, uh, watch. Nah, 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 nah. I don't like it. Nah. I I okay. Why don't you like it? I actually think design looks quite good, but I don't get. I don't understand why 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 they yeah. have a Batman watch. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I I don't get the association. I mean, I could do without the word Wayne. Maybe just the W would do fine. <laughs> <laughs> I love the design of the watch, but when they put something like that on the watch, it just destroys it. Really? The way? It is destroyed. It. Yeah, I yeah. I actually think it, it it's done pretty well. The design, I, I don't mind it. For for me, it's okay. I'm not a big fan of the Batman logo on it. I prefer the Wayne because it is like. If Wayne Enterprises made a watch, you know. Yeah. But oh, it's uh, titanium. Oh, I didn't know that. Titanium. Mm. It's nice. <clears throat> I think the design is nice, man. But I don't feel it. I don't feel. It. I don't understand why. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Yeah. Why? It, yeah. Why? Why is Undone yeah. doing? Yeah. I, I don't associate Undone with. I don't. When I think Batman, I don't. I don't. My mind goes nowhere near Undone. You know what I'm saying? Well, if I'm not mistaken, Undone is a very experimental, collaborative brand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what do you think of this one? This Arabian Nights. Like, <clears throat> it's a lapis lazuli mm. dial with uh, brass. Oh wait, no, with a bronze case. No, man. No. If they want to go Arabian, they should go full Arabian. You know, instead of mix. Oh, I like the kanji one, though. There. Scroll up, scroll up. Ah, there we go. Oh, this one, right? Yeah, it is pretty cool. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> this That's one, cool. you okay with it being half? Sorry? Okay yeah. with it being what? Half? This is not full. Full kanji as well. But this is not kanji. This is oh. it's not even talking about number. It is kanji, man. It, it's it's kanji, but it's oh, not but it's numbers. not numbers, right, right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for that the white Japanese artist cartoonist. I don't even know what that is, but it looks very nice, it looks very cute. Mm, yeah. Oh the sugar skull one is not bad. Sugar skull. Sugar skull one is not bad. What sugar skull? Oh, this there one. There you go. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Oh, dude, the loom? Is that loom? Yeah. No way, is, it, is that a loom? Are you sure? It's a loom. Yeah, it's loom. Oh, dude, that's, it's loom. That's cool. That's really cool. Mr. Jones watches you actually do something like that. If that's actually loom, then that is very cool. Yeah. Are you sure it's yeah. Loom though? Because it might not be, it's it might loom, just be dude. reacting to the UV. It looks like Loom to me. That's cool, yeah? Let's see if they play in here. Oh, dude, this Loom is fucking cool, man. So taking, yeah. your, is yeah. it taking your Mr. Jones watch, the skull one, the next to level. the next level. <laughs> yeah. But Mr. Jones did actually brought it up to the next level with the, the guilt. Have you seen that? Oh, the yeah. golden, yeah. the golden one. I'm not a big fan of that one. I don't feel the design. I don't feel no? the design. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this one is cool because the eyes are subtitles for the photograph. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. yeah. So I think it's using the. Uh, I think the, I think they're still using the uh, the Seiko Micro Quad. What do you think of this one? This Nessa one. Um, I like it. Looks nice. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Very clean. Very avant garde. Yeah. And you see well, the rocket thing going on as well, you know, without it being too obvious. The rocket thing? Yeah. I don't see the, the, the hands. <clears throat> I mean, the hands. Oh, they the line rocket, up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. You got a point okay. in, okay, okay. the thruster here. Our, mark, yeah, our yeah. hand is the thruster. Yeah. The, Minute hand is you won't, a point. You won't see whether you won't see it's a rocket or not until it's, it's until it's six o'clock. Yeah, like you, you see cool. elements like of it, it, but it's not it's not in your face. Oh, it's a rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but cool. it looks very spacey. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. So that's nice. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah. 
This Lori is very Tatum. cute. I don't know what it is, man, but it looks nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. I'm digging it. When I saw it, I'm like, oh, okay. Very, very nice. Why do they have more pictures of it? Is that the only picture they have? Right? You should go to Noritake. It's not here at all. It's so weird. Oh, yeah. Let me look up the... Uh... Noritake. Let me see if they have a hashtag that I can follow. Dude, Noritake. <laughs> this comes up right. Dude, this goes to the page. Noritake underscore org. Oh, okay. Bro. <laughs> Come on, helping, man. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, picture. man. That's cool. It looks so cool. But they did not so want to sell this watch. <laughs> There's no Sorry? pictures of it. It's so hard to find. I don't think it's that big of a project. Uh, fair enough. Because I wonder if it's I still for sale. I guess it's not. We, we will look at it like just now. Right? Yeah. It's this is uh, actually a pet peeve of mine. Yeah. Uh, when, especially if it's a company that does it, when they put the hashtags on their watch, but they don't do the whole thing. You know, this yeah. one you could have done unknown watches Noritake, let's say. Yeah, yeah. But they don't. They put unknown watches as one hashtag. Noritake is another. Noritake. If you look at the hashtag, it's this is something else entirely. If I want to look for more pictures of this watch, I can't click any of these uh, hashtags to help me out, you know? I find it very annoying. Dude, just go to Noritake underscore or man. Dude, we just went there, dude. Yeah, in there, right? It's not. It, I'm looking at Noritake underscore org right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one picture, I want to look at more, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Only they have, yeah, they don't have it. <laughs> no. Yeah. But yeah, loving it. I think that's to me that's one of the more interesting undone watch collaboration. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Very simple. Very nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful. <clears throat> Love it. Oh, they even. Oh, that's very. That's very smart. You see that what they did with the hands here? Yeah, the hands? yeah. They white out. They white out the middle the part in the body, right? Oh, that's yeah. so smart. It's smart. I don't think anyone else has done that. Like I've seen a lot of these hand point two watches, like with Mickey Mouse. They just they just feet. put it there just cause. Right? Yeah, it's just like a fucking hand that goes. You see yeah, the entire yeah. hand, the entire outline of the hand, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. But this one actually it's, looks like this guy's hands. Yep. Very smart. Very yeah. smart. I'll be curious to see the six Good job undone. Good the job undone. Is it a clap? Our respect goes to you. <laughs> no, our respect. Yeah, respect. respect. Yeah. So I said, man. You say our respectable, man. No, I say our, our respect goes goes to you. Our right, respect whatever. goes to you. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have any yeah. other uh, brands in mind? Uh, or do you want to look at the Facebook page? Uh, yeah, I still have a lot. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, okay, let's talk about Anordain watches. A-N-O-R-D-A-I-N. Anordain. Now, Anordain, it's a very, very interesting brand in that they make enamel dial watches and it's so beautiful how do you spell that anordain a-n-o-r d-a-i-n so we have the model one we have the model two super super beautiful i i'm into the uh, model two more This beautiful enamel dial thing. Right, yeah. Immediately. The impression of what? When you get to their page. 
they show you the whole enamel process, the enamel yeah. materials. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Beautiful. Yeah. Have you seen this before? I've seen it before, but I never took note of them. Yeah. Even the Model 1 is nice. Especially the Parisian blue. Like this Ooh, one. Look at that. Super, super nice. Oh, look at this. Blue Fume. It's T1 skin. I really like, I mean, it's a little thing for me, but I really like the weld in the middle of the the hands. You see that? Yeah. There's like a, there's like a well. Yeah. It's like water, you know? It's like the, the hands are sitting on the water. Oh, okay. The, the dip in the center. You see that? Right, oh, right, right. that is beautiful. To me, that's beautiful. Oh, then you must really like the Seiko Nemo Dao, right? Oh. Yeah, of course. They, they have one where Seiko that Versace. one is super the obvious, Nemo. the white one. It's, it looks yeah. like Liquid. The power reserve and the dials are like this. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, this one. They're like pressed in. It's like super obvious. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at it's that. Very liquid. Super, super beautiful. Take a beside. And I'm also a sucker for Roman numeral. Hmm. What would what would you say is your favorite uh, numerals on the watch? Roman. Uh, Brigade. Brigade numeral. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't know um, what numeral are these, but um, okay, you see that you see the uh, the green seiko, the green enamel seiko. Yeah, I like those numerals. This one. Yeah, I don't know what they call. Right. But this is the one I'm talking about. Do you mean the dash in between? The no, 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 the the numbers, the numbers. Oh, okay, the font. Right, right. Uh, it's it's more. More obvious than this. With, uh, oh yeah, check out the Orient Star, the Gothic Limited, Heritage Gothic Limited. Yeah, I have. A, I'm a sucker for these new Right. Oh, the IWC. Uh, is that the IWC? Is that from IWC? I don't know, but this this design right here on the right, this yeah. white with very small blue Portuguese. Yeah. Is it Portuguese? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but <clears throat> I'm talking about the. Uh, I'm talking about the, the typography. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm a fan yeah. of those as well. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yes, Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. This is a bit different though. <clears throat> Oh, it's the same, but... Okay, yeah, the same. Type of... Yeah. Okay. So, Roman numerals, uh, this numeral, and, uh, and applied markers, applied, you know, diver markers. Right, right. Big moon like dips. Uh, yeah. Big moon yeah. plots. Yeah. I like those. Hmm. I'm a big fan of Cartier's, uh, Roman numerals. The whole, oh, yeah, 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 the, yeah, the, uh, the iconic classic look. Yeah. Yeah, I love Cartier's numerals as well. I'm a big fan of Brigade numerals as well. Yeah, Brigade, yep. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Yeah. What's your biggest pet peeve when it comes to to, to watch dial markers? Hmm. I guess I can think of any right now. What was yours? I... I really don't like the um, the Rolex GMT root beer markers. Why is that? Mm, I just think it's very disproportionate. Disproportionate? In what sense? Yeah. It's too small. Not this, not this. Um, the old ah, ah uh, second uh, row. Yeah, that one. Old, I don't like that. I really don't like that. The old era, right. Yeah. So I'm thinking you're, you're not like a big fan of the Blanc Pan. So Sorry? You're not a big fan of the Blanc Pan 50? Yeah, Blanc, the Blanc, Blanc Pan Villeray. Yes, yes. Villeray? No, not 50 fathoms, the oh. Villeray. How do you spell that? V I L L E R E T. Villeray. Okay. No. 
Oh no, dude. Oh, that's what. Too spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Too spaced out. I understand it. I don't mind it. Like I, I see. This. Oh, look at that. It's like you know. It's when I look at that, I think of alone. You know. Oh. The word alone, alone comes to my head. Interesting. Like they're very far so out from each other. There's no one. It's like there's other. no one there. There's no one there. You know, it's too spaced out. No, not for me. Interesting. Definitely not for me. Very interesting. Yeah. No. Yeah, I also don't like um, dolls that are too busy. For example, the Citizen Hawk. The night Hawk. So we're talking about the Night Hawk. Yeah. Oh right, right, right. Sorry. Yeah, Night Hawk. Citizen Nighthawk, um, what else? The, uh, some models of uh, uh, um, Brightling. Oh, uh, right. What do you call that? The Brightling Navy Timer. Navy Timer, yeah. Okay. But you do okay. like a lot of the, those Patek Philippe uh, grand publication. Those are quite busy. I feel like it's, it's quite I don't. I don't like the grand complication, man. I, I mean, yeah, it's, it's cool for, you know, for... Yeah, you you like this one, one, right? Yeah. But if, if you can look at the dial as a whole, it's very proportionate. Yeah. It's very proportionate, very balanced. But it is very saturated. Though, you know? it's, it, yeah, very it's very busy. busy, but it's a nice busy, you know? You can see it's very purposeful, very harmonious. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I don't mind this. Right, this right, is like right. this. This is a this is a good busy, but a bad busy would be the bright links every time. There's just too much going on in the dial, and uh, I'm just not feeling it when it comes to the uh, the bright link every time. You know what I do like? I like a lot of these uh, asymmetrical kind of looks like like this one this like the grand one, one. Yeah, blue. yeah exactly oh. the, the off center yeah. styles then you like the uh, um, well the then you really like the uh, the normal lambda oh, I've heard of that I'm not a big fan of that actually a uh, 4k for that that one for me feels very spaced out Maybe lambda yeah there you go this one feels very spaced out for me Everything feels too small. But it's disproportionate though. So this is spaced out for you. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's just a big DAO with not a lot of things on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. A, big, <laughs> a big case. Mm. Big. Yeah, yeah. What you mean, man? You know what you mean? Yeah. But hey, it, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's 100% Bauhaus, man. Yeah, fair enough. Bauhaus design. You know, it, it's very brown. You know, brown? Yeah, yeah. Check out bronze watches. You like bronze watches? Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting, but very nice. Very interesting and very nice watches. There we go. You want Daniel very... Payton, man. <laughs> yeah. Daniel Wellington. Yeah. See, see when, I, when, I, when I see the Lambda, mm-hmm. I see this. <laughs> like like a big like a big dial of nothingness. I'm a, uh, I, I'm I'm not sticking with normals. I, I I'm a fan of normals watches. I, I really like the Orion watches. The Orion. But this one this one feels a bit too small. It feels too small. Mm. The Orion though, I feel that is almost perfect. Mm. You like the Ludwig as well. I know it's second, it's uh, Roman oh, numerals. That's, that's like Ludwig. Tangente, but Roman numerals, right? Right. Ludwig. You're right. Ludwig. Ludwig van Beethoven. Yeah. yeah. Super nice, man. Yeah. Now, this is what I call good balance. For the Tangente, I do prefer the normal one. Oh, what do you think about the normal metro? Well, the markers are just dots. Uh, 
not a big fan of it. The dark ones. <laughs> I prefer the normal, the, the normal. Hmm, what do you think, man? Uh, space up? Yeah, space up. Especially this one. Really. Okay, I, I, I don't mind this. What about the much. one with the, 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 the power reserve? This does, the gang reserve. This does feel very, uh, it does look like a doctor. It's very doctor inspired, you know? You get the syringe style hands, the red color in the center, the, the black and white. So you, want, you like this proportionate, so what about the gang reserve? Where is the gang reserve? There, right down. Right down there, with the power reserve. The, the off-putting power reserve. Right, to your right, to your right. Hello? What? There, 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 there. Okay. there, there. You're on it. Dude, down, down. Dude. Where? It's right there. Oh my god, dude, it's right there. It's the power <laughs> reserve. Oh, this, this, is it this thing? What, what power yeah. reserve? Yeah, just the power reserve. Why oh, this power reserve? Mm -hmm. How do you read it? Uh, when uh when it's uh when it's close to to being unwound, it will become white. When you twist it, you, the the red will show. Oh, it's interesting. Okay, I think for this one, I, I prefer the normal one. I like this one. It looks very doctor, like like I don't know. If, if I have a friend with a doctor, I want to buy them more. Watch and probably this one here. Looks nice. Yeah, it's cool. For some reason, I don't, I don't know why the red here and everything it looks like a doctor, like a doctor in a white jacket, you know. With, I don't know. With a, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, I read it. Neck. I read it somewhere. No more. Um, some models are actually made for the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it does have a, a doctor's look, I guess. But brown, brown is another a very ball modern, house. Yeah. yeah. Very German. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Another one that I would like to talk about, since we're on the That's topic, like is uh, Porsche design watches. Porsche have design. you seen those? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although it's quartz, but I think it's very, very beautifully designed. Very nice. Yeah. So if it's mechanical, I would actually consider it. They have some IWC watches that looks quite, they look quite nice as well. Yeah. Very nice. Porsche design watches. And I've seen these, um, um, people selling it and they're going for a premium, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, they're going for a premium. I thought they were, they were actually quite cheap. They have they're, lost they're not, their... Look, look. They have look lost their... Well, like, people don't really care much about Porsche design for some reason. Because yeah, if, yeah. if, if you look on Chrono24, mm -hmm. a lot of the collabor uh, brand collab collaborations with Porsche design, uh -huh. those models are usually selling at the bottom, like the, at the cheapest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, it's not really a, a, a watch collector's watch, but I'm yeah, uh, but I, I don't know, talking about design. The design always looks very nice. The feel. Hmm. Yeah. It is an eye that you see. It looks very nice. It's cool. And is that a moon phase? It's a very sweet moon phase, man. If you ask me. Yeah. And look at this. Very cool. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. It's like uh, Oxen Junior. Uh, uh, it's that's now we're cool. talking. Let's talk about the another brand then. Oxen Junior. Is is that considered micro brand? It's independent. It's independent. Ox. Oxen Junior. I think they're very cool. They yeah. They they do you know they they started they were using uh what's that fish of the caviar sturgeon they're using sturgeon skin sturgeon leather. And uh, it's from their home country. I've seen sturgeon leather watches before, like fish leather, like salmon, salmon yeah, leather salmon, watches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. 
But what Oxen Junior is doing is very very nice. Yeah. Especially the uh, and the the moon phase. If you have a look at the moon phase, it's very well thought out. The annual calendar with the rust dial. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. And this Oxen Junior actually reminds me of uh, have you have you seen uh, Twenty Two Studio? Their concrete watch. The dial is made of concrete. Oh, right, right, right. Isn't that, a, studio. isn't that a Hublot thing? No concrete dial? No, no, no. Look it up. 22 Studio. 22 Studio. Watch. Oh, this one. Yeah, I've seen this one. So beautiful, man. Right, so interesting. Right. And look at the, 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 the hands. How they come up. Yeah, yeah, that's very right. To to the dial, There's to the platform of the dial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like I like four, the way they, they, they call did. it four dimensional. But I like the way I they think, did the date as well. <clears throat> yeah. Like I would actually wear that. Though. I would actually wear that. That's very cool. Yeah. yeah. Very, very interesting, very unique. What do you think of this uh, whole look new Look at the wall clock, man. Look at the wall clock. That's cool, man. Oh man. Look at yeah. that. How beautiful that is. Yeah. I would actually put that on my uh, Have you seen those magnetic watches? The quartz watches? Yeah, the, the, for the, the blind, for the, the blind. The levitating ball. The, blind, right? the one with the levitating yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think yeah, of that? Yeah. Uh, I forgot. They're very cheap. You see that thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen, I've seen that, I've seen that before. They're super cheap, but they actually, it's actually pretty cool. I think. Yeah. They're pretty cool, man. Yep, yep. I think you can buy one for like less than hundred ringgit or something for AliExpress. Very smart. Very cool. Yeah. They can get more. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back to Oxford Junior. Yeah. You're saying this moon phase. It's just this thing in the center, right? The way they did it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very smart. It's cute. They have a date. Uh, uh, there's a brand. Uh, there well. um, have a look at uh, Dal Sack Walk. Wait, look, look at this one first. Uh, this awesome journey on the screen. This is the yeah, GMT, the two time zone. It's very cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, how the numbers sort of shift yeah. if you change it. Yeah. It's very smart, eh? Very cool. Yeah, super, super smart. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, and this is the dial I was talking about, the metal dial. What is it made out of? Right, is, right, it, right. Uh, is it brass? It's like gold. Is it brass? Let's see. It's explaining design. Silver. Hold on. Oh, it's it's a dial, man. Yeah. Come on, tell us about the dial. You don't, you don't talk about the dial? So it is oh, wait, it's silver. It's silver? Yeah. I think it probably comes in the different, whatever this, I think there are a few different colors, right? Yeah. Maybe this is gold. It is nice. <clears throat> very, very nice. Yeah, I feel like big fan yeah. of Oxen Junior. Big, yeah. I've actually seen I've actually seen one one uh one in person. Alright. The Oxen Junior date. They didn't look uh, impressive. A friend of mine. Oh, a friend of mine. It looks nice. It actually feels very very nice on, on, on the hand. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, a friend of mine, Richard, he collects almost every watch under the sun. Right. And he actually brought and Oxen Junior to one of the uh, the Matic blocks. I feel like it might have been there. Gathering. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I think he may have. But he has an Oxen Junior. Right. The thing this watch is, is it's it's crazy expensive, but it's very unassuming. Yeah. You look at it and you really think it's an expensive watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You look at it and you think it's yeah. like a Wilkes watch, Wilkes Price kind of thing, you know? Yeah, <laughs> but it's very nice. I mean, yeah. it, it it shows that you know they are having fun. Yeah. Uh, okay. And they are rethinking what a GMP or with yeah. their watches. One thing I I really like is their buckle. You know, you see this tang buckle here. I'm not sure if they explain it, 
But uh, what it does square, is... The squarish design. No, it's not squarish design. It, you can tuck the strap. It's a normal tank buckle. It works like normal tank buckle. You can strap underneath it. Yeah, you can... T- you, can uh, you don't need a leather tuck. You can hide yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. You can hide yeah. the strap. Yeah, yeah. You can tuck it into this, uh, the bucket itself. So. I get it, I get it. Yep, yep. And you get a very nice clean look on your wrist, you know? You don't have a fucking yeah. strap hanging off, dangling off. It yeah. looks very smart. Because uh, normally if you do that, you will be using a deployant class for it to hide the strap behind. Mm-hmm. Right? But deploying class... Uh, it was, it's just not a tank buckle, you know. It's it's not easy to take off and everything. Like if oh. you want to, it's not as a, easily adjustable as a tank buckle watch, right? Yeah. So you get the, the the utility of the tank buckle and you get the cleanness. Right? In the a, the clean look of a deployment buckle strap. It's very cool, yeah. very smart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All right. Time. Big fan. Okay, hold on. I think I wrote down somewhere. Okay, no, man. It's fine. If you look at the Facebook page, man, you might discover some micro brand watches that you've not heard of before. What is that? Let's see what this is. Okay. Have you seen Belarus watches? Not a fan. <laughs> I've seen those. Not a fan. I I kind of like it. Shark, shark. Yeah, design. it's called a megalodon. I think it's kind of cool, man. <laughs> yeah. It's it's massive though. I think they're like forty seven. I can see why you like it though. <laughs> I have a big fascination when I was, when I was young with monsters. You know, I was a huge fan. I watch Ultraman all the time. You know, I drew monsters in class. This is kind of cool for me, but it's yeah, massive. All right. All due respect, look at this guy. This is kind of cool. Sultan. Sultan watch. Oh, that's that's very nice. It reminds me of um, Azimuth. Azimuth. Yeah, I like Azimuth the. Friend. I like how this guy did the logo here. Sultan. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Where is it from? It's very classy. I've never heard of Sultan. I don't, I don't think know. I've seen that before. I think it's by this guy, Leonardo Sai. Oh my god, it's from Hong Kong? Oh, no way. Wow. wow. It's very cool. Dude, it's very Sarpaneva. I'm getting a lot of Sarpaneva vibe from it. Yeah, yeah. The, it's, the, it's the font, right, that they use? I don't, the I guess also the, the, the design. Dying, uh, the design, yeah. yeah. Oh, is, is that Goldust? Is, is that Moon Meteorite? Oh my god, I think that's Meteorite. Oh my god. The more I look at this watch, the more I like it. The dial, I think dust? it's it's probably sand sandstone or something. Blue sandstone. Yeah. And I think look look at the moon here. The moon do you see this? The moon here? The yeah moons? yeah. I think that's meteorite. Is that, is that meteorite? Yeah. Oh my god, maybe the light. Heart. Whoa. Oh, heart. Love it. Look it up, man. Movement. Sultan Watch Co. Oh my god, it's only two nine nine dollars Hey, that's not bad. Miyota. Look it up, man. Look it up. Look it up. Sultan okay, Watch Co. Okay, Come on. I look up, looked up this guy. Good. Yeah. It's by Good Leonardo way. Sai from Hong Kong. <clears throat> Whoa, dude. Yo, hey, the, the movement is very, very nice. Dude. Oh, Sultan. look at the rotor. Oh my god. Yo, the movement, man. Dude, this... Ah. The finishing oh, they for have, 299. Look at this, a Mokume dial. Is that Damascus steel? Mok- Mokume dane. Mokume dane. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, no, this is not Damascus. Is Damascus? Damascus is once... Wait, no. It's kind of similar to Damascus, I guess. Yeah. It's basically Damascus, I guess. But I think they probably use different metals here. Oh, oh, look at this. They, they call this Mokume Gane, if I'm not mistaken. The art of Mokume Gane. Smashing, so what, what, to, what? smashing together uh, steel, of dif- different uh-huh. steels together. Like the samurai sword. Uh-huh. Uh, and then creating patterns. Can I click on this one? I can I click on it? 
Hey man. How do I navigate your site? I can't click on it on any of this. I think I should design a site for them. Oh, you should be. Okay, let's go to the Instagram page. Oh my oh, god. They're very new. I think they're very <clears> new. <throat> The meteorite dial. Hmm. Oh, oh wow. Baby. Oh shit. Wait, look at my next purchase. <laughs> okay, this one is, uh, Okay, okay, let me tell okay, let me just say off the cuff, right? Yeah. It is giving me Sarpaneva vibe. It's also giving me curry votilanin vibe. Yeah, the hands, right? Yeah, the hand. Very and and the logo itself. Very right, 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 Very right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Botilanin. <clears throat> and the hands, yeah, it's a big giveaway. Yeah. But the finishing of the movement, man, wow, I'm quite impressed. I like if it. that's the finishing, they can actually go for... They can actually compete with Ming. Dude, it's two nine nine dot USD. Yeah. That's steel, man. <clears throat> You know, Yo. side, dare to dream big. You do you, bro. Yeah, dream man. Dream big. Oh, shit. That looks <coughs> nice. I don't mind yeah, the case as well. I wonder what size beautiful. it is. What size do you think is perfect for this? 40. 40? Yeah. I'd say so. Yeah. 40 would be nice. It looks like a 40. Yeah. Maybe bigger. 41, 42. Yeah. 40 would be perfect. Yeah. Let's go <coughs> okay, have you seen this one? I don't know what the name is. Uh, I've seen them before. Wait a minute. Is this... They do a lot of dive watches. Ventus is watches. Is this Ventus? Oh yeah. my god, yes. Ventus. Yeah, not a fan. <coughs> uh, I think they're alright. Nothing screams out to me though. Nothing screams out to me. They're giving me a lot of Invicta vibe. Okay, this guy, this one looks cool. I, I looked at it already. Yo, cool. This is cool. Look at this Russian. Yeah, yeah Russian. Russian. Oh my god. Josh there. Josh down there. The skeletonizing skeletonizing of a movement. The, the metal, the copper looking metal they use on it. Yo. Looks very nice, Brandon. right? Maxim Shukov. Uh, Brandon Baines. I tried looking for it, I couldn't find it. Brandon Baines. Yeah. Very nice. Nice. The only thing is, this is 42mm, which I think is too big. I'd wear it. I think 40 would be the maximum size, like for, for me at least. I think 39 would be the perfect size. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll wear it. In a heartbeat. It looks nice. Man. Look at the, look at the right. movement here. Damn, it's hot, the man. Russians. Sexy. Man. The Russians. It's, it's, it's basically what Ming is doing. Ming Water. Uh huh. Yeah, it's basically what they're doing, skeletonizing a movement. Right, right. I guess Ming is also micro brand, isn't it? Yeah, but is it's it? pretty it's pretty it's high end brand. I would say yeah, the high end brand now. Stratton, I mean, it's already in the, the Swiss the, Sorry? Have you heard of Stratton? No. But this watch is giving me a lot of uh, autodromo vibe. You wanna talk about autodromo? Autodromo. It sounds very familiar, but I think it's going to have a look like Autodromo. I think you've seen it before. Very, very popular. Yeah. It's featured on Houdini. Oh, the round Hodinkee. ones, right? Is it? The racing inspired watcher. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Autodromo. New collection. Uh, it's inspired by racing. Very nice. Very yeah, yeah. beautifully designed watch. Yeah. Very beautiful, beautifully designed watches. The thing with but race watches, I wouldn't put racing watches. I feel like a lot of people do very well. Racing watches. Yeah, I've seen a lot of nice ones. I don't know about you, but I don't feel a connection with racing, so it doesn't really appeal to me much. But I, I, I do think the aesthetics of them look very good. Mm. Autodromo. Yeah. They had is they. I don't think they, they sell them anymore, but they had this very beautiful uh, chronograph. Yeah. Mm. 
There we go. This one. Prototipo. There we go, yes. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. With the Seiko uh, mechanical, the VK something, the auto, oh, no, no, sorry, uh, the Mecha Quads. Oh, the Mecha Quads. But it's very beautiful. I wear it. Very 1970s vibe. Hmm. Giving me the, the vibe from the uh, the Seiko helmet watches. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Right. But Selton, dude, I'll definitely look into <laughs> this brand. I'm digging it. It's nice, eh? Very voted lemon. Alright. We got strap in here. What else do you have? More strap ins. That is interesting. Very brave space design. Nah, yeah, not for me. Not for me. That's a very interesting bracelet, though. The links? It's too. It's too futuristic for me. It looks very Power Rangers. Hmm. Yeah. Right? Power Rangers. Yeah. I kind of dig the the bracelet. So cool. What's this brand called again? Uh, I'm not sure. I can't really see that. Yeah, I see it. Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Will Wilhelm. You're so masculine after on it. Man. Of course you do. You feel like Power Ranger, don't you, Paul? Then. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? Timeless HMS watch. Nah, that's me. Yeah, you need it. Give me a lot of uh, some Seven Friday vibe. Oh, how I don't make it. No. Especially no. the poster, man. <laughs> no. Is that is that is that real Damascus steel? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, it's not. It looks printed on. Yeah. yeah. Also, every time we, we dismiss a watch here, I think... <laughs> Disrespect. <laughs> Disrespect. If, if any of the people who uh, owns the watches, owns these brands and listening to this, hey man, all, all respect to you, man, for coming up with your own designs. Don't take it too seriously. Our yeah, if you, if, you like, if you like yeah. it, just wear it. Yeah. No hate, man. No snobbery. A lot of respect for you to... Yeah. Try to design the watches, you know? This yeah. is a like a color. Minute man. Minute man. USA movement. So what movement is that? Yes. USA making movements. Who they know? Huh. Huh. Minute man. No. I like the color yeah. it looks like. Color is nice. I mean, but yeah, it's it looks so, to me, it looks very franken. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. The hands do feel a bit small. You take a dress watch and you put a, a, a pilot hand, <laughs> some pilot hands on it. No, not for me. Yeah. Not for me. We have MBW. Mm, nope. Yeah. No. 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 Oh, this is a blue meteor right now. Ah, uh, it's giving me a lot of Zelos vibe. Uh, Zelos watches. Pin design uh, the, uh, Meteor, I think the, the meteor pin, dial is cool. The crown, with the crown guards here look kind of nice. The case design I think quite not bad. But, I don't know, the, the dial? Mm -hmm. I don't know, the balance feels a bit... Off. Oh. Yeah. The bezel and everything. I wouldn't. No kind of bezel. But, who looking? I think we're going deep down the rabbit hole. <laughs> for Michael Brand. Yeah, man. A lot, of people, a lot of these people who are posting here in these watches, I think the owners are the ones posting on this. Yeah. What do you think no. This? No. H, H2O watch. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, this guy. I'm trying to get people's thoughts on this. I like it. We're paying thousand four hundred for micro brand. It's thousand four hundred dollars USD for this Tobion. It looks like a Chinese movement. 
and it it's is. trying to it be is. it is it's trying to be it's trying to be, the wheel. It's trying to be you know yeah but it's kind of failing badly yeah it, it feels very arbitrary the like what the fuck is this okay there, there are words on the bezel I'm not sure you can see creation what is this reality do these things do anything no it's just uh, it's just random words everywhere and uh, yeah. <laughs> limited entrepreneurs edition what <laughs> What? No, yeah. come on. Yeah. No, 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 no way. Yeah. Modify what? Peacock? What is it? Peacock 5216 coaxial. What? They're trying to put big words in, like, oh. <laughs> Black Superflex TM. <laughs> <laughs> Cubic Zarconia Rainbow Crystals. Give me a break, man. Come on. <laughs> Deconstructed numbering. Yeah, dude. You just took it from Richard Neal. <laughs> Deconstructed numbering. What the fuck does that mean? Deconstructed. I what think it's mean? just like floating floating markers. But I think that's what they mean. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, like it's on... It, it's above the dial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Deconstructed. Wow. Cubic Darkonia. I think I think they're trying to go for that. The Rolex Rainbow yeah, yeah, yeah. vibe. Yeah. yeah. They're failing at it. I, I'm not digging it at all. Yeah. Keep trying though. Because Disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> make sure, make sure when you go, when you when you edit it in post, right? You go, you, you go look at the camera when you say this, man. You go look at it. Disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> you put the the stomp, the stomp. <laughs> Disrespect. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. This watch? No, no, no. Scroll up, scroll up. Okay, this watch, the Swiss watch company, whatever the fuck this is. Uh, this reminds me of uh, Okinawa. Okinawa. So, yeah, I've heard that. Okinawa. Oh, the one that Marshall has, right? No. Okay, he yeah, sir? Does he? Okay, I don't know. I feel like I've seen it on this page or something. This is good. Yeah. Actually, I haven't no. seen his Instagram page in a while. Has he blocked me? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, folk can ask him, man. Oh, yeah, they have like this camera thing on the yeah. back of their second. Uh, Okinawa is, is known for their sandwich style. Right, right. Yeah. Good brand, but uh, I don't think it's getting the attention it deserves. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, honestly, I wouldn't wear it. I wouldn't buy one with my own money. This reminds me of Brew. Have you heard of Brew? Brew watches. Oh yeah, Brew. Yes, yeah. Brew was getting traction at the beginning of uh, when I just got into watches. The 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 first the first model they first came out with they first came out with. Is it this one? Uh, no, 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 not this. Uh, go to their shop maybe. <coughs> shop shop. Ah, there we go. The the retrograph, yeah. This one? No, not this. It's this a chronograph. Like, like a quad. No. Back, back. <coughs> ah, there we go. This one? Down, 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 down. Scroll down. No, no. Scroll down. This one, yeah. Retrograph. This was their first watch that they debuted. The design so nice, man. Yeah. Uh, apparently, they are, the, story, the story goes that they are... It's based on the coffee maker, coffee machine. Right, right, right. Yeah, so that's what they are going for. It's right. like how, uh, have you heard of rat watches? What? Also another... Rat? Based on, yeah, rec, R-E-C, rec watches. Oh, rec. A camera thing. A camera thing. Yeah, it's based on, it's, it's also based on, like, cars. Oh, yeah. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, very interesting design, but I wouldn't wear it. Yeah, the whole racy yeah. thing. Yeah, like watch it. But bro, uh, I love, I love the retro gate. The retro gate yeah. is pretty good. <clears throat> yeah. uh, speaking of this, uh, the way you say it, they base the design off of a coffee machine. It reminds yeah. me of the the G Shock with the G Shock. <laughs> With John Mayer. Is that a computer? 
Uh, no, he based it off of a keyboard. No, is that your computer? I heard a whirring. Wait, sorry, what? Do you still hear yourself? Mm. Oh, shit. He's a fan. Is that a computer? Yeah. Mm, you need too much uh, processing off. power, is it? You turn off my... So it does, it does this for some reason, but let me just shut this down. <laughs> right. anyway. So you're talking about the John Mayer's design, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The he based it on a, a keyboard, a Casio keyboard okay. that he he used growing up. I think it was his first uh, keyboard. In this keyboard, you can sample shit with it and play it off different tunes. It's very cool. Mm-hmm. This keyboard, you see this keyboard? So you base the design of the watch on the keyboard. I think it's very nice. As, and since it's Casio as well, so I don't know, the design is very seamless. It looks very well in the watch. Right. I'm sure it's going to cost a bomb then because John Mayer designed it. Let's check out. That, that's, that's So eBay. G Shop John Mayer. How much it costs? For a few dollars. For Casio though. Yeah. It's kinda of cool though, John Mayer. It's cool, but you know. <laughs> still a G Shop. I think it's quite like popular right now actually. Like, uh, you know, John Mayer did a video about it, so he's really good at selling shit, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that goes to uh, the the notion that for watches to be popular it's not about what <laughs> who made it but who wears Marketing. it. Marketing. Yeah, like how Yeezys are, are Yeezys because Kanye wears them. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean it's it's it's, it's basically like holding keys to time X. Who wears that? Yeah, who wears that? But you know, people buy it to flip it. I have it right here. You only have it. Oh, it's by holding key, right? Yeah. I'm actually not a big fan of of that watch actually two time X. Uh, I'm I'm a fan of it. It's uh, 1970s design. Especially the red and blue uh, bezel one. Yeah, this one, right? Okay, this is a pet peeve of mine. This one is a pet peeve of mine. You see the bezel? The Pepsi down? The Pepsi bezel? Yeah. yeah. A Pepsi bezel, a Pepsi design on a 12 hour bezel makes zero fucking sense. <laughs> You know, because the whole Pepsi thing in the uh, was done in the first place was because the blue represents a night and then the red represents a day, right? Yeah. When you put it here, what? What three to three three to nine is day and nine to three is night? It doesn't make sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is why I don't like about it. The design, I guess, is fine. I, I don't like the hour hand, the, the big round of an hour hand. It looks like mm-hmm. Mercedes is missing. <coughs> but it is some. You can use it as a GMT. Yeah. You can use it, it as I mean, a GMT. You can, you but, just... the, but, the, but the bezel doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It's not a 24 hour bezel, it's a 12 hour bezel. 12 hour bezel, yeah. yeah. Why does it have? It's like, it's, it's like if you. If you... No, I mean. If... Okay, for example, if you go to, uh, we've been to, 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 to Vietnam together, right? Yeah, yeah. And Vietnam is one hour behind, yeah, yeah. right? You just shift it one hour behind. No, so dude, I, I have... understand how it works. I understand that it's a top hour bezel that you can Yeah, take, so what's wrong right? with that? It's the red and blue that I have a problem with. Because the red and blue, the red and blue, but it's not night and day. It's three to nine is red and nine to three is blue. How does that equate to night and day? The original Pepsi bezel is a 24 hour dial, right? So yeah. you get actual night and day, you get like, what? Uh, six, is it six, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. is uh, night and then it's blue and then 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. is red. I think you just gotta play around with the yeah. time difference. Uh, it, it, the, the different colors just is to is to differentiate. Yeah, exactly. To it is. Yeah. But this so, on this bezel, the colors I know, I know. don't do anything. Colors, it's just yeah, they, they don't do anything. There. 
business yeah. to show a differentiation I guess uh, giving them the benefit of the doubt it's not they, they, they're just banking on the popularity of the Pepsi Bezel yeah yeah you know? Yeah, but with the Pepsi, a, Pepsi, not, the Pepsi design doesn't make sense of this. It's like yeah, it's yeah. like it's if not, you put a tachymeter on a non chronograph watch, it makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think the way I see it's Perman's GMT. Uh, yeah. That's all. This is the Perman's GMT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, uh, I can't it's, like, it's 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 the same thing when I see uh, mods like. Uh, modern watches and they put a 24 hour bezel yeah. on a 12 hour watch that, there's no 24 hour hand on the watch but put a bezel a 24 hour bezel there in the, uh, anyway and yeah. it renders the bezel completely fucking useless useless <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't like it I don't like it when 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 they do things just for design and it actually mm. doesn't serve the form you know Mm, mm. Well, then you can opt for the uh, Timex for the Inky then. Yeah, that one doesn't. That, I'm okay. This is still better. Okay yeah. I don't make sure of the color though. I don't make sure of the color. I think I would prefer white and white. The, the green moon, the, the yellow moon. Mm. I'm, I'm definitely more okay with this than the red that I see here. But yeah, back onto our upper band page. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Batavi. No. An Arabic numeral bezel. No, no. That's kind of cool. No. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. kind of cool. Nope, nope. It's like you say, you know, it's just to have a bezel for the sake of having a bezel. No, I think it rotates. It rotates, but it's just, you know, for the sake of having a rotating bezel. How are you gonna how are you gonna count minutes on that? I mean you have to mark it or you have to You have to mark it there, yeah. Minutes. But <clears throat> but I would prefer if it's like <clears throat> as long as the sake of the uh-huh. Like at least they are like like minute markers man. you know instead of just like every five minutes yeah but <clears throat> it's not like the Rolex of Mariner has every five minutes right? yeah man there are the markers there only from 1 to 15 see. you know what I'm saying only from 1 to 15 but like the rest of it is just five minutes five minute increments you don't need it to yeah. be Precise, it still works. But I don't like the design. Uh, no. No. Not for me. Not, not really speaking to. Mm. I kind of like the color, the brown and green. Mm. This is, I think this might be a brass case. It's cool. I like that they use Arabic, Arabic numerals and. Yeah, it's experimental in that yeah. sense, but you know. It's cool. Batavi, I think I, it's, it's a. I wouldn't. Uhuru Mama. <laughs> <laughs> EMG. Ah, uh-huh. <clears throat> I like it though. I like the design of the watch. I don't like the logo. Too busy. Reminds me of the ball engineer. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does like the ball engineer. Yeah. yeah. yeah nothing. I think the the rotating inner inner. Chap- it's inner like ring. the uh, the long jeans legend diver. Wait. Yeah, I think it could have done with without the, the, the GMT minutes. function. Yeah, you know the sixty-five. Like, yeah, it's not necessary, man. Yeah, not for me. Why? Why is it even there? If it rotates, then it makes no sense. Yeah, I fucking hate it now. The the <laughs> <laughs> the minutes make no sense. Yeah, yeah. Because if that thing rotates, then the the six your your minute counted the the minutes rotate with it. Right? Yeah, but it's not to count the minutes, I guess. It's to... No, but it's 60... No, it has the 65 temp. You see that? You see that? Where? Underneath oh, the 24, yeah, the, yeah, the 60. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Why is the minutes there? Why are the minutes there? Because if... Just in case if this you want to count... Just in case you want to calculate the minutes. No, no, but, but if you rotate the ring, if you rotate the bezel, 
yeah, the, yeah. whatever you call that, the ring, yeah, the rotating yeah. ring. Then yeah. the minutes go out of place. Your minute hand, your minute hand still follows yeah. the regular minutes. No, you just you just move the sixty to the current position of the minutes, huh? What? You rotate the sixty to where the minute hand is right now, and you start from there. Oh, okay, I guess I guess you can use that as a dive present. Yeah, right, right, that's right, right. the purpose, man. Right, Dude, right, chill. Right. Okay. <laughs> man. Chill, my man. Okay, that's not a good sign. It sounds good. Cool. My man. But it's still a prototype with one ugly ass prototype. It no fancy. I think it looks very nice. I don't mind it. Too busy. Too busy. Uh, talking I still, about busy I still dials, feel it could have done without the, the minutes and the ring. It's just too much. Yeah. Just too much. But yeah, EMG, not bad. Just the thing. Uh, give me the Tudor. Tudor? Was that? The really? Tudor. Okay, what what do you think of Laurier? Laurier Sorry? watches. Look at this one. Oh, I've heard of them. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the design. Heard. Yeah. It's a very like vintage. Said, they, they do the whole vintage thing very well. Yeah. <coughs> dome, dome. Not a fan. Not a fan. Nope. Why not? Nah. It looks tacky. Really? Yeah, to me. It looks tacky. Oh, for me, it feels very... Yeah. Actually, I think it looks the opposite of that. It looks very classy. Oh, is this the brand new... Jacob Veal? No. It's exactly like the first brand you brought up. Yeah. Without the screws. Yeah. Nah, I wouldn't. <clears throat> hey, this is by the same guy just now. Oh, this is by H.O.D. I love the hands, man. Yeah, unique. Very nice hands. Look at spears. Oh, that is very nice. Oh, that's sweet. Mm. Let's check this out. Nice. H O D watches. Okay, they're quite hard to find though. HOD Russia. Russia. Impossible to find them as well. <laughs> yeah. But I'm simply digging in there. Yeah, that's very nice. You can find them more about this brand. They look expensive. Yeah. I wonder if they are. If they're not. Oh, that's very sexy. Right? Yeah, but still, the Sultan watches. Oh, I'll be looking to it after. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to work tomorrow. All right, let's wrap it up, man. Uh, let's wrap, wrap it up. up. Yeah, you know, let's let's verify with a few more brands. Just to just, I mean, the honorable mention. Okay, let's do that. Uh, Boulder watches. Okay. I think what Boulder doing is, is, is good. Is that Malaysian? I feel like that's Malaysian, right? But Boulder watches. Singaporean. Singaporean, right. right, right. Yeah. yeah. Boulder supply code. Yeah. Yeah, alright. I feel I like, like I, I don't really design. Their, uh, I, I dig their Odyssey. Their diverse yeah, um, yeah. range. I've, I've tried them on. I don't mind them, like the design is not bad, but I feel like they're all a bit too bulky. They're very bulky. Yeah, yeah. Designs are nice. They're pretty, much, they're pretty much on Zelos level, another Singaporean brand, yeah. Zelos watches. Oh, Zelos is Singaporean? Mm-hmm. Right, right. But I am really not digging Zelos now. Right. I used to dig them, but now they are too, their prices are too wild. I I don't dig them. I, I don't I don't find their dials very nice. The, the logo, the dial. Mm. Oh, it looks very let me bring these up. Really? I thought you would like them. No, I don't need them. Something that this is rust me off wrong, but the it's logo man. Something like logo. Yeah, I think uh, I think you dig this kind of watches. 
meteorite dial? No, dude. I like a lot of things they do. I don't like the way they design the dial. Like this metallic ring here, the very fine metallic zealous. Something one doesn't look like. Yeah. Oh yeah, see this? I, I, I don't know, man. Never like yeah. the design of the dials. What about the the Zelos uh, coma? Minimalist, circular. Oh, that one, the one that you wanted to buy, right? The top quarters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not for me. I think okay. I, I told uh, when you showed me the first time you, when you told me you were thinking of buying it, I was like, uh, no, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel it. <laughs> uh, Give me a uh, Daniel uh, Wellington, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so that's Zellos. Another honorable mention would be Gagota. Gagota. I like uh, the designs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I am really digging what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's a watch brand from Watch Gecko, yeah. which is a sort of a, a, a brand, a UK based brand uh, that makes or sources. Pretty good leather straps and bracelets. Like uh, this solid link bracelet that you see here right now. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. The solid link bracelet that you see here right now. Yeah. This is a Kegota. Right, right. Yeah, solid. Maybe. Oh, yeah, so they, they have this quality. jump hour that they made at uh, Big Fair. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And also this, I actually yeah, considered yeah, buying one of them. Yeah, I actually consider buying one of their pilot watches. And they, to be honest, pretty good too. Style is quite nice as well. Yeah, the rectangular vintage watch. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Thanks. So I love what they got doing. So this, this is another micro nice. brand. Yeah. And it's automatic. See, I, I really out. like design of this thing. Yeah. But the name of Kota. I think it's good that this jumping hour, the 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 Gekota branding, it's yeah. small. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you look, if you look, I mean, no offense to Gekota, I love what they're doing. Uh, the watches could do a little refinement. Now, uh, for example, if you look at the uh, Tobion, uh -huh. if you go back and look at the Tobion, it looks like Chinese. Uh, it looks yeah, like it, the stuff it's definitely you Chinese. Express. No, it's definitely, yeah. but it looks like the stuff you find like AliExpress, you know? Yeah, the so it could use off. a little refinement. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll be on the right track. Yeah. But I love the other stuff looks very nice. This this reminds me of uh, the Chrono Swiss... Oh, shit, I don't know what it's called, but... It's exactly <laughs> Chrono Swiss? Chrono Swiss is kind of established. Yeah, they have a, they have their own reversal. I forgot what it's called. Chrono Swiss. Hold on, let me type it out. Chrono Swiss. Cabrio. Chrono Swiss Cabrio. Have you heard of it? I'm going to show it to you. It's a flippable dial. Uh, okay, it's not really reversal, but it's like Bascalente. It's the, different, uh, but yes, it's it's different. It's it's its own thing, you know. Rotate uh, was it Cartier? Cartier Basculante? Yeah, but that's different as well. Different oh, as well. it opens up like that. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. Eh? Okay, 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 okay. You got my attention. Yeah. Oh, never heard of this 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 model before. That's nice. Chrono Swiss. What is it called? Cabrio. Cabrio. Very very nice. Oh, it opens up like that. Yeah. It's cool, right? Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. And the uh, thing's at the bottom, so you lift it up, turn it. Yeah. Put it back. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. The movement, though, doesn't look great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's around. It looks, like an, it looks like an ETA. Yeah. Definitely an ETA. But it's very nice. It's it a very nice execution. It would have been nicer if it's a day. metal wine of you. Yeah. yeah. But, eh, I mean, yeah. Still cool. Yeah. yeah, still cool. Still cool. Reminds me of the Epos jumping armor. Right, right. Yeah. 
Yeah. So Gegota, another yeah. honorable mention would be um, Notice. Notice what is Notice what is. Yeah. I've met with the uh, the creators before. So very, you can't, you nice can't share about their brand, right? <laughs> Sorry? So you can't share their brand, right? Share their brand, right? <laughs> no, I, I mean, they are, they are... Especially the Avalon. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't mind it. Looks, looks very nice. Yeah. I thought you weren't a big fan of it. I, I wasn't. I'm still not the big fan of it. But the quality that you're getting... I it's feel like it's, good. it's very I similar help. to what you get from Nelson, like the, the kind yeah, of quality. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. What, um, what they're doing is actually, actually, this is quite a solid piece. I like this blue one they're doing. The, the color is very nice. Mm. It's very Lagos, the blue Lagos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so I'm loving what Nodus is doing. So Nodus, uh, and one of my favorite uh, Independent, oh, I wouldn't say independent. I mean, micro watch micro brand, Mr. Jones watches. Mm. I think um, because I think it's also because of the connection I have with uh, the people from Mr. Jones, right? Which we are, which we are really close to. I'm a fan of Mr. Jones. Yeah, I Mr. like Jones, that. It's they right up there in very experimental and very design oriented. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah, design yeah. oriented. Yeah, design. and they make they, they, they make like the watches cost like 175 pounds 195 pounds which is you know reasonable. around 1k yeah yeah reasonable and it looks like a million bucks I remember wearing the promise of happiness to watch events and people actually Respect they take a second look right, right you know and they look at it and I'm like yo this is really cool what you're, right. what you're wearing you know so, Mr. Jones watches. I've always have a soft spot for Mr. Jones watches. I would love to collect, um, you know, a, a few of them. I have two of them. Hmm. I have this and the last last tattoo edition. Hmm. Super super nice. You know, in an age of uh, where watches, well, last time back when uh, watches started, uh-huh. that is the technology of watches is it's you know it's state of the art, right? It's yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. it's the highest tech gadget you can have. Yeah. Right? But nowadays, you know, watches are so easy, it's it's not a challenge anymore. People just yeah. make it you know, Thanks thanks your, to the Chinese you know. and the Japanese. So when when you take that part out of it, when when the spectacle of the mechanics of a watch isn't there anymore, yeah. I think the design of the watch is where it's at. You know, it's it's <coughs> exactly. especially when when you're looking at <coughs> more affordable watches. Yeah, everything is about the design. You know, so I think exactly when with that is where Mr. Jones watches excels at. I think yeah. it's it's the whole thing, right? I'm a yeah. very big fan of this perfectly used this afternoon watch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very smart. Looks very nice. You know. It's very simple. You get one big hour hand here and one very small and it just looks you know, it doesn't look like our hands and minute hands, you know? Yeah. Um, really seamless. Looks really since nice. we are on Mr. Jones watches, I just want to share their philosophy in designing their watches. Uh-huh. And they think that, you know, in this digital age today, yeah. uh, most and if not everyone, if not most people, tell their time using their phones. And there are so many other ways right, of telling right. time, and so and, and most most of people, most most of everyone yeah. use their phone to tell the time. So that gives uh, the brand sort of um, the the chance to have fun with their watches, to have fun with their design. That's what their philosophy of Mr. Jones and right, what, right. what it's all about. You know, and so, uh, if you see Mr. Jones watches, uh, to our listeners out there, Mr. Jones watches is basically a design oriented watch, micro watch brand. And their designs are really, really good. They collaborate with, they, they have collaborated with tattoo artists, graffiti artists, um, 
um, um, painters. And they actually come up with really, really interesting designs. Yeah. So, another, another one of their uh, models I really like is the one you have. I, I like this this one as well, the, the, queen, the king and queen. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's a very cute couple's watch. It is. Yeah. It yeah. is, it is. Another one that their favorites <coughs> of mine is the one you have, the last laugh. Uh huh. Oh one. shit, it's sold out? Is it? Oh, sold out. Right. It's sold out. Damn. <coughs> I think it's very cool, it's very nice design. Yeah, yeah. You know, make it cooler. If the way it tells time is like uh -huh. the consultant joker. The eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. And interesting um, fact about the uh, the the last laugh, it's a jumping hour. It's a jumping hour function. Right, 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 right. I guess it is. Yeah. So, uh, a lot of people look for the jumping hour function because it's very interesting to see when uh, the, the the time change. Yeah. The click has changed. Yeah. But it's very so, hard to read the time on this watch. It's it's not about reading the time on the watch. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess you know, that's what you said just now, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not about that. It's all about design and, and oh, yeah. how far they can push the boundaries in, in terms of design. Mm. You know, and I, I, oh, I love the step right up. I think it's a beautiful. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that man. Oh, that's very cute. Yeah. Oh, that's very smart. This yeah. thing rotates. And it's like, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's so so Very interesting, yeah, yeah. and I I really really want to collect, uh, um, collect them all if I can. Really? Okay. Let's say if you have five of these watches, which one would you pick? Okay, I'll pick this. Step right up. Okay. Uh, I also get the um, <clears throat> um the Ophelia is not bad. The Ophelia is very interesting. The new one. Yeah. The Ascendant is also nice. And um, they used to have this, they used to have this watch. I, I don't think it's on their shop anymore. The Davy Jones. Have you seen that? This is Jones Watches, Davy Jones. Uh, what is that? Uh, have, type, type it out, type it out, look it up. This is Jones Watches, Davy Jones. <coughs> they... Uh, yeah, hey, so sorry, sorry. Well, wait, uh, what does it look like, man? Uh, it looks like the uh, hold on, hold on. describe it. It's like, uh, it's like the, the sun and moon. Oh, is it this new watch? It's not new watch. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Looking for it. Mm, you better, you better. Ah, there we go. The Flying Scotsman. Sorry, not Davy Jones. Sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. The Flying Scotsman. I think it's super nice, man. This one? The flying scorpion, yep. That's the one. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. And also the uh the owl. If you don't watch this owl. I can't remember the model thing. Is it here? Old model, is it? Time wise, yeah, that's what it's called. Time wise? Time wise. Time wise. W I yeah. Time -wise. Oh, this one's, uh, yeah, collaboration with uh, the artist name Clifford Richards. Yeah, right. that's very interesting. So yeah. which which five then? So you want you basically saying everything, which, which is like you want Ophelia. <clears throat> uh, five additional, other than the watches that I have, or the including the watches in here. Okay, so this the last them. left are two. Uh, the ascendant. I think it's very interesting. Ophelia, right Ascendant, up. Step, Step right, right up. up. Yeah. 
Uh, Another honorable laugh. mention, yeah, I think I'll, I'll slot in the sixth one. It's the Last Laugh Tattoo Guild Edition. Oh. Which is uh, the, the gold. Oh. Look it up, look it up. It's, it's not here anymore. It's a limited edition, limited run. Gold, gold. Say gold die. Oh, oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's hot. That's hot. Gilded skull. There we go. That's hot. That's nice. That is really hot. Okay. But nice. unfortunately, we don't make it anymore. Hey, that's my article right there. Laugh, laugh. Right. The method block, this one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. For me, I think I'll get. Uh, Oh, like I said, a perfectly useless afternoon. Okay, first one, second mm. one. I don't mind this number cruncher. This is kind of cool. Number cruncher. Okay, number cruncher. Uh, come on, sooner. Uh, I think the last laugh tattoo. Okay, okay. I'm not sure if I go with the guild or the color one. I think I might like the color one more. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then maybe the king and queen. One for king the partner. Yeah. Oh, okay, first thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't go. I, I mean, I like the design, but it's just not for me. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's cute. It's very cute. It is. Can that you click on it? I just want to see how to tell the time. I forgot how they actually. Yeah, they have the card thing going on, right? Yeah, yeah. So, how do you tell? Let's see. Scroll down, scroll down. There is a, there's an instruction for it. Ah, zero minutes, 10 minutes past. 20 minutes past. Oh, right, right. 20. Right, right. <laughs> Half past. Oh, 30. It's pretty hard. It's oh, pretty hard to reason. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I mean, if you play blackjack, you know, right? Yeah. I think, you know, it'll take you a second to interpret it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I think that's all I have for, uh, <clears throat> for uh, micro brands. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah, you want to talk you want to talk about Helton a bit? Uh, an ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much to say about them. Man. I do like their watches a lot. Uh, I mean, I like this watch a lot. This exact one. Why? It's everything I want, man. You know? Show in the camera, man. Show in the camera. This is the camera. I'm not showing it to you. I'm showing it to my camera. Right. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Nice. Very sexy. I like that it's 38 millimeters is small, you know, but it doesn't look small. It looks very well balanced. It wears larger than 38. It fits my wrist very well. Right? It's titanium. It's light, you know. It's a its own special. It's it's the own original design, you know. And it's nice design. You get very bright loom. You know, huge markers, very bright loom. Uh, you get an adjustable bracelet, adjustable yeah. ratcheting clasp. You can adjust on wrist, you know. It's got everything I want, just everything. It's got a easily cheap, affordable to service movement. I think this what. Uh, I think this Titanium. addresses Fantastic. what we actually talked about in the beginning. Yeah. In that micro brands fill in that gap yeah. for value. Yeah. You know, and you as a watch collector, I think you are a watch collector that looks for value. I remember you doing a lot of research before purchasing this. Oh yeah, man. I I I really like the Pelagos, and I feel like this is the better version of Pelagos. <laughs> right. okay. I'm not even kidding, man. I'm not even kidding. But yeah. Can you actually repolish the titanium or to, to re sandblast it to uh, bring its uh, make, scratch marks? Or you think it gives it? You can just sandblast it yourself if you want. It's, I think it's bead blasted or whatever. But I, I actually like the look of how this uh, wears. Like it, the scratches yeah, on it. I remember it, wearing it. It's very nice. No, the scratches on it actually makes it look nicer. Yeah, it gives character, right? Yeah. I can't say that a lot about most watches. 
especially like the polished ones. Once you get a lot of scuffs on it, they look very old and cheap. And they look very old and beat up. This one doesn't. Yeah. And yeah. the sand the sand blasted uh, finish on it just is so different. And it's a grey watch. It's a grey watch. It's a grey watch. You don't, you don't see that at all, you know? The whole metal yeah. is different. It's cool. Yeah. I think you should I think you should end that on that note, man. You should end the episode on this note. Yeah. The micro brands just provides value. I mean some of them don't. Don't get us wrong. But the for the majority of what micro brands usually stands for is value. Yeah. And I think yeah, that's a good note to end it with. Yeah. And for our listeners out there, if you're looking to buying a watch, check micro brands out. Check these micro brands out. Uh, I think Jingfeng will, will will put the link in the description below. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna yeah. check it out. All the brands. Totally. Mentioned. Just yeah, just go into that rabbit hole and get lost. Except know? for that freaking weird HOD brand that you cannot find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. These are these brands. So, just so hard to find. Definitely, definitely check them out. And you wouldn't be disappointed. Very excited to see what this Selton watch comes up with them. Bradley yeah. Leonardo Sai. Yeah. Oh, he's man. A young. He's a young chap. Yeah. My man Leonardo. Oh shit. Yeah. Consider me jealous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think in the next episode we should talk about let's talk about watch straps. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Yeah, let's talk about watch straps. Let's talk about watch straps and um, um how uh, um watch straps from from luxury watches, from luxury brands, actually costs so much. Whereas you can get, you can get watch straps from different brands. There's almost the same quality, if not better, at fra- at a fraction of the price. Let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's do that. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I think. Uh, let's talk about styling as well, like watch strap styling for watches. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Like Fair, what, what strap goes? Yeah, yeah, for black dial watches. Yeah, yeah. what's a What's a good combination? Yeah, let's talk yeah. about that for white oh, down watches as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, man. Let's do that. All right, man. It's a good. Talk to you next time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Uh, I'll definitely look into Dalton. So, uh, listeners, uh, if you enjoyed this podcast, give us a like, subscribe, and uh, listen to the next time. Listen to yeah. us next time. We'll see you. In, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Good night. <laughs>